since he took over as manager. That's well taken by Maxwell. That was Motherwell just a few matches ago. And they came back to win a league match at Ibrox, but out of part, Walter Smith's sides going in front, and they've been caught. Hayfley. The space there which Mitchell occupies. There's McAllister. Well, he's complaining there to his teammates, McAllister. He was short of options as Durant runs offside. Oh, the noise again, all coming from the Rangers' end. Here's McAllister. Now O'Neill. In the wide position is Hamilton. Now Miller. O'Neill again. from long range, carefully watched by Maxwell. But Mike O'Neill, enjoying this opportunity to become involved in the play, has been finding it difficult to get a grip in midfield. Now Stevens. Misunderstanding there with Trevor Steven, who apologizes instantly as the pass was released. Started to make a run into that position, then checked out. Goff climbing there to win that from right. This is Graham Mitchell. Good first time pass that by Farrell. Here's O'Neill. And the Rangers players certainly fired up here, closing down players very swiftly in midfield, making it difficult for Hibs to build. Misunderstanding it again as Hunter tried to find Hamilton wide on the right. And here's Jim Layton showing good judgment as Durant was in the clear. Mitchell forward. Goff has help here from Stevens. Careless one inside, this is Keith Wright, needs help in the middle, it's turned in by McPherson, Hibs have equalised, Dave McPherson utterly dejected there, and some slack defensive play by Rangers allows Hibs right back in the match, that was Goff's header, now Stevens played that into no man's land there, Keith Wright was there first, going past Ali Maxwell, had no hips player waiting in the middle, and it was turned in by McPherson. It's an incredibly poor back pass by Gary Stevens, and here Keith Wright does well, he knows the goalkeeper's wondering what to do, gets out there, whips the ball in, Dave McPherson turns it in his own net, didn't get far back enough to, to protect his line, he's just off the line there, glances it off his head, and hips are back in the game with a vengeance. There we see it again from this angle. He's no, not going anywhere. And there, there the ball ends up in the net, so it's all on a game now. Well, I'm sure Rangers can scarcely believe that. Taking the lead just as they were entitled to in the balance of play. And then the setback coming. Just on the hour mark now. One goal apiece. And it's that kind of incident which can turn the game around. Haustrop with the corner. Right under the crossbar for Leighton. Takes it comfortably. Well, now, what an amazing turnaround that has created. Keith Wright this time had a chance to get past Danny Maxwell and did so without any other thought to go towards the byline, but he had no support waiting in the middle. Although Dave McFast, in fairness, wasn't to know that. Here goes Darren Jackson. Good effort by Jackson. Well, it certainly would have been a case of daylight robbery and him's gone ahead at that point. But he turned away from Dave McPherson very effectively indeed. Well, let's check on that this time as the ball is played forward. Jackson, faced there by McPherson, knew exactly what he was doing there. If nothing else, that uh, goal certainly have given him belief in themselves, they'll make a real game right now because we really haven't seen anything off of the attacking force up to the goal 
Now we see them full of confidence, charging at that Razor's end and creating all sorts of problems. No wonder to take that corner kick very quickly indeed. The result of the tremendous pace of David Robertson to get to that ball as McAllister threatened to break clear. The Hibs keeping possession from the corner. Stephen Tweed has stayed forward. He'll now have to come back, I suspect, because Rangers on the counter-attack. This is Durant. Closed down swiftly by Mitchell. Mitchell in on Gary Stevens. There's no offside, no free kick there. As Jackson goes through, it's great goalkeeping by Ali Maxwell. But Gary Stevens again caught out badly for Rangers. Right across it goes to McAllister. And that could so easily have been turned in by Goff. Well, suddenly, Ray Fine in the back, and Ellie Maxwell brought off a magnificent save there from Darren Jackson. It's another little piece of careless defend from Gary Steven. Darren Jackson's got a real chance to score there, but uh, all credit to Ellie Maxwell. Comes off his line quickly, doesn't go down too early, and makes sure that he doesn't get the ball past him. Now the chance to for Kevin McAllister, rifling that across the face of the goal. Richard Goff swing at that, if he made contact, it could have been a second on goal. Haitley doing well, this is Halstra, now Durant playing it wide. Well, this match has probably increased in pace now, for that recent activity in front of goal, and the crowd has responded. The atmosphere really is electric again. Well, Gary Stevens, I'm sure, will want to make a good tackle and play a good pass as quickly as possible, having been caught out a couple of times in the last few minutes. Goff taking that away from Michael O'Neill. McAllister jumping well against Robertson. Walter Smith is back from his seat in the director's box. Clearly contemplating some alterations. It may be that Ali McCoy still be introduced to the fray. Discussion with his close confinant, Archie Knox. Durant's layoff. This is Stephen. Switching the play to McPherson. Robertson's gone well forward. It's well read by Hunter. McPherson playing it back to Richard Goff, who has time to turn around and play the ball upfield. Even had to hurry. This is McPherson. And Hibbs have taken wings from that boost provided by the goal. And down goes McPherson. He was caught by Jackson. The offside flag is up against Durant. And the ball was released. He was just offside. Darren Jackson living a shade dangerously there because he clearly brought down Dave McPherson as a big centre half. Went sprinting forward. Now, Darren Jackson apologising there to Dave McPherson, trying to keep his temper under control. Played forward by Mitchell towards Keith Wright. Stevens missed it. There's Goff. Taking the ball to safety. Stevens again. Haitley beaten to that by Tweed. Good header by Trevor Stephen. McCall. Stevens. Goff provided a deep angle there for Stevens. There's McCall. Difficult pass to receive that with two hips players around him. That's Dave McPherson. Ferguson forward, space here for Halstra. Hatley waits in the middle. And Gordon Hunter determined to prevent that coming across the face of goal. Durant will take the corner kick, an orthodox one. So the Hibs players go back to the penalty box to defend. It's played short this time now. Variety provided by Durant. Headed away well by Keith Wright deep inside his own box. That's Ferguson. Alistair forward. Gets beyond McAllister for Robertson. Up goes Haitley. Good play again by Gordon Hunter inside that Hibs penalty box. He has battled away extremely effectively, Hunter, the Hibs captain. Trevor Stephen. There's no offside here. Durant breaking in a very promising position. McPherson going down. That's Ferguson. And a great save. Once again by Leighton. He thinks the lines are his flag up. But a fine strike by Ferguson. 
once again we see Ian Durant getting a good position, sends in a lovely ball right across the area. What cleared out in the middle. Good strike through a credit defence by Ian Fels, but Jim Layton was up to the game. He's had a good game for Hibs today. He really has. Fine match, the Hibs goalkeeper. Very good handling that. He seems to have taken a knock on his back. Jim Layton is holding that and giving it a rub as the play goes on in the middle of the field. There's Gary Stevens and now Durant. Plenty of Rangers players for one of them is McCall. Well, good energetic play again from Stuart McCall coming to the middle of the field. Very close to his best. And the noise you hear greets the arrival on the track of Ali McCoy. Tremendous applause there from the Rangers fans when they spotted McCoy coming out here. And it looks as though it's Peter Halstra who is being withdrawn. He doesn't look entirely happy about it, the Dutchman. Well, in the semi-final when he went off, they couldn't put on a replacement because he went off for the little of a red car. So the alteration being made is that McCoy joins Hatley through the middle. He's just signaled to Ian Durant to move to that position wide on the left. So Rangers could so easily have gone ahead here. This ball played forward to Durant. There was no offside flag. A delicate ball played in. And there was McCall in the top. McCoy on, hoping to break the record of League Cup winners medals if he can be in the winning side this afternoon he'll edge one ahead of Davy Cooper they've both won eight medals so far so Jim Layton getting some treatment that's why we have a hold up Stuart Colley the physio has carried out his work and Layton now will take the goal kick so Durant now operating wide on the left of midfield for Rangers. Interesting change, Billy. Well, it sets a new problem for Hibbs. Uh, I felt that Durant has played very well just off the centre, uh, just off the centre forwards position, but uh, whether or not it'll be just so valuable there, I'm not sure. And a fine move there from Rangers. Ian Durant popping up in his new position, sending forward a delightful pass from a call. He tried to pick up McCoy through the pass, but, well, Durant's showing his versatility. That's a great ball for McCoy. He knew exactly where McCoy was, just couldn't find him. I think he must have heard me tempting him there, Jock. <laughs> McCoy is beaten to this by Tweed. Up goes Brian Hamilton. This is Jackson. He miscued that somewhat. McAllister in the race here with Maxwell, which the goalkeeper was always going to win. Good backtracking work by McAllister, forcing Robertson to hurry. Stephen to Stevens. Good running again by McCall. Stephen back towards Stevens. In goes Michael O'Neill. Richard Goff for Rangers. Rather obvious that pass from Stephen allowing Mitchell to go in. Stevens was very determined. They win it back. Ferguson again to Stevens. Durant is much placed again. Not picked up properly by the Hibs defence. Well, his movement it really has set a problem for the Hibs defence all afternoon. Gary Stevens is on his knee there. He's looking a little bit unhappy. Rangers full back, back in his feet now, but hurtling somewhat. McCoy's breaks on the right. In goes Stephen Tweed. Well, Rangers trying to step up a gear again and attempt to win this match within the 90 minutes. Remember, it's Hibs 1, Rangers 1. We've had 25 minutes of the second half as McCoy goes to the byline. Well, perhaps an indication that the match sharpness is not yet back with him. Yeah, the movement's there. Here we see the nice little, nice little pass. We see the movement there, but perhaps he just lacks a little bit of match up. Mind you, he's just come on in a very competitive game, which is always difficult, especially after, after a serious injury. Well, Maxwell looks to the heavens there as he miscues that clearance, giving possession back. The Hibs a shake of the head by the keeper. Had a good match, though. 
and the referee is allowing a hold up here to give some treatment to Gary Stevens. On comes Bill Collins, the Rangers physio. But Hibbs certainly still have all the problems to handle, but they don't. I mean, they've had the chance to come back into the match with that own goal, but it's Rangers who still have the initiative. Well, there was a little spell after the goal when Rangers looked decidedly rocky at the back, and uh, we saw Gary Steven almost commit another error. But uh, having, having said that, Rangers have got back in control again, and they seem to hold all the aces. Whether or not uh, Alan McLeish is sharp enough and match fit enough to, to capture a chance or two, but we'll have to wait and see. But certainly, from a midfield point of view, they, they seem to have a stranglehold in the game. So Alec Miller on there. And you can look really, he's calling to Brian Hamilton, I think, to give him some instructions. Well, if Trevor Stephen was the influential midfield player for Rangers in the first half, Stuart McCall has taken over that role since the interval. He's got better and better as the match has gone on. This is Ian Ferguson. He's also become more involved in the second period. That's a careless pass, though. Mitchell for heads. Not enough movement from the hips players ahead. Mitchell trying an ambitious pass there towards McAllister. Robertson looking there for Haitley. Comfortably won though by Hunter, but Haitley retrieves it for Rangers. That's Durant. Ferguson to Stevens. Appears to have recovered fully. Shooting chance perhaps. Caught late there by Farrell. The free kick's been given. David Farrell went in with a stud showing a fraction high. So Stevens felt this all right. I think Farrell's just a little bit unlucky because I, I, I think Gary Stevens is uncertain in his own mind what he wants to do, whether he wants to make a pass or go in to try for a shot. But certainly the referee's right to give a foul. Well, David Farrell, the combative midfield player for Hibbs. Stevens has back in his feet quickly as Durant flights that end, looking for goal! from Rangers, Richard Goff's run really was not adequately picked up by the Hibs defence they've just got so many threats from free kicks here it's a nice little ball but Richard Goff in actual fact is too much on the ball all he's looking for there is just a little touch here we see it again, the early run no one gets to him and Jim Lee's land there and just gets too much on the ball otherwise that would, be, that would have been another goal for Rangers good header again by Goff that's Tweed. Stopped by Goff, but possession retained by Hibbs. O'Neill to Miller. Hamilton made a good run through the inside right channel. Ferguson trying to match him. The good ball across! And about a foot away from Darren Jackson. The Pierce now had about a cramp there. Good running this by Brian Hamilton. Fine midfield play. Yes, we haven't seen many runs from Brian Hamilton. That's one of his strong points, but he gets through the inside right position here, sends a tremendous ball across here, a very tempting ball, and Dan Jackson's only inches away from making contact there. A fine move, that, from Hibbs, and from the reverse angle, you'll see what a good ball this was, away from Ali Maxwell, and Darren Jackson is still on the ground, he clearly is suffering from cramp, and I think he won't take much more part in the game, because... Gareth Evans has been produced from the dugout. And Hibs are wasting no time at all. Jackson is being withdrawn, and on comes Gareth Evans, who's such a very good replacement for any of the front players. Former Rotherham player, 26 years old, bargain by at some £50,000 five years ago. That's Mitchell's clearance, here's Keith Wright, that's for Evans, but he won't get in behind Goff for that. O'Neill. Now Wright. McAllister. That's good play, here's O'Neill. Careful possession this from Hibbs as McAllister tries to send over a good cross, and McPherson left with no option to turn that behind for the corner kick so it's the end of the cup final but Darren Jackson is applauding the Hibs supporters he's worked extremely hard 
And that could so easily have been the leading goal had he been able to get on the end of that pass from Brian Hamilton. So corner kick it is to Hibbs. And the short one not being employed there as the ball goes all the way across. A little bit of bumping and boring inside the area. Hunter flashing with golf. Here's Trevor Stephen. It's back with Durant. Inside is Goff. Stevens. I don't think he really appreciated that pass, Gary Stevens. He left him with nothing else to do but give it to the goalkeeper. McCoist to Ferguson. Ferguson's so strong in possession. And down goes McCoist by the was Durant rather. David Farrell protesting his innocence and complaining to the referee. Dave McPherson has gone sprinting into the penalty box already. His hips pull everyone back, and this is Durant. Full of creative energy in Durant. Far post ball for Hayley. Back it goes to McPherson. Now Durant. And that was close. Into the side netting from Durant. But it really was an outstanding chance for Dave McPherson after Hayley's header back into the danger area. That's right, because it, it, it's a good ball into the middle. Mark Haley knows he can't score, so he just nods it back there, and Dave McPherson just doesn't make any contact at all. Ian Gerrard almost does, almost gets it on target there. Good run from him. Here we see it again. He's not all that far away. Evans with a header. This is Goff. Looking there for Haley. Chests it down for Gerrard. That's McCoy. Trying to pick up the run made by Robertson. Well, it was a promising build-up, that, from Rangers. A little rush of blood to the head uh, for David Robertson. Scenting goal for the first time this season. So, Jim Layton, the Hibs goalkeeper, right back to top form. And he's been a vital player this afternoon for Hibs, keeping them in this final. 35 years old now, playing with immense enthusiasm. Mitchell did well. Wright played that against Gary Stevens' right arm. It's a free kick for handball. Stevens protesting that it wasn't intentional. Well, 11 minutes of this, 90 minutes remaining. His hips come forward in the left with Graham Mitchell, firing in the cross. Keith Wright well beaten there by Robertson. This is Durant. Through the middle it goes to McCoy, who's dropped off his markers. Ferguson using David Robertson. A fine tackle there by Hamilton. That's for Keith Wright. Well-timed challenge by Goff. An important one. Here's Brian Hamilton leaving this to Hunter. Goff's header. In goes McAllister. Robertson waited. McAllister didn't. Evans waits in the middle with Keith Wright. Over it goes towards Evans. And it was won by Gary Stevens. A great cleaning header there by Gary Stevens. It's Kevin McAllister taking a real part in the game. And that's a good very good cross, puts the push Rangers defence under real problem, but all credit to Gary Siemens, he was under pressure for the Hibs goal, but look at the saving header he made there, it was excellent. Well, Hibs again coming forward, far post cross, Farrell was challenging, and a chance on there for Gordon Hunter, going for the spectacular finish inside the penalty box in the volley. This was a real chance because if the ball falls kindly for him, but typical defender's effort, it goes really because he swings at it, really doesn't, he should be hitting the target from there, not necessarily scoring, but he certainly should be hitting the target from there and doesn't create any problems at all. And from the reverse angle, the other side of the field, there was the effort made by Farrell winning that from Goff, it was a very good chance for Hunter. There's Stephen, that's for McCoy. And Willie Miller kept his eye on the ball. It's very solid defending by Miller. 
fine serve at the hips, 23 years old. So David Robertson will launch one, perhaps, into the penalty area here. The long throw, looking for Haitley's flick on. Tweed is with him. That's McCoy, so the acrobatic effort! save this final so Rangers leading by two goals to one seven minutes left here's McCall for Rangers now Steven trying to get to the byline he's over carried that goal kick it is to Hibbs but it does indicate once again Billy the importance of a man like McCoy to any side they missed his goals this season when they've been struggling somewhat in the league that perhaps tells the story well that's right I mean I hear people saying that Rangers didn't miss him anyone would miss that a man has scored, has scored 49 goals last season he's tremendous inside the box I mean here we saw him at his best his back's to the goals just gone didn't look all that fit all that sharp he knows where the goals is and where the goals come to him well, it could well turn out to be the winner, and a very dramatic one at that. You can see the sheer elation and joy in his face, too, when he scored it, even more than normal. Looked to be almost emotional after he scored that one. His first League Cup final, way back in 1984, was one in which he scored a hat-trick against Celtic. To win by three goals to two. So his record is truly amazing. Now O'Neill, can Hibs do it again? Can they come back? And it won so far in the match with the help of Dave McPherson's own goal, but they'll fight all the way, I'm sure. McPherson this time, the header goes straight to Miller. Up goes Keith Wright with Goff. O'Neill trying to get a shot in the edge of the box. A miscue there by Miller, but there's still a problem with the range of defence. Durant is on the ground. Getting back to his feet, not looking too steady, as Hibbs come forward again with Farrell. This is Graham Mitchell, faced by Stephen. Switches to his right foot. Maxwell's come a long way for that, he's in trouble. And Ian Ferguson sorted out with that lusty clearance. McCoy's toy. Quite content to play the long way back. Rangers have Dave McPherson on the ground inside the area as Evans picks it up at the edge of the area. This is Hamilton. Now looking, I think, for Keith right in the middle. So Dave McPherson requires some attention. Referee McCluskey. Waits until Larry Maxwell thumps the ball out of play. Just four minutes of the final remaining. So Dave McPherson with a blow in the area of the left eye. So 
So time to be added on before the end. Is there any way back for Hibsville? Any way back? Yeah, I think it's perfectly capable. In fairness to Hibs, after a disappointing first half, when they got the goal, it, it gave them a lot of confidence. They haven't played particularly skillful football, but they've been more aggressive, more assertive in the second half. And Rangers' defence at times have looked at a little bit fragile. Um, I think in a game like this, anything could happen. Well, time very much the enemy for Hibs. Well, here's a look at this goal again, the one which may well take the League Cup to back to Ibrox. A long throw from David Robertson, which Stephen tweeted his head to, then broke through to McCoy's. One touch in the chest, the overhead effort, well out of reach for Leighton. Well, he'll be telling a few people about that for some time, I reckon. Trevor Stephen. McCoyst expected Hakley to make a run in the right, but Hakley may well consider that this is not the time for such activity. Farrell to Mitchell. Now Gary Stevens overshooting his forwards. Slayton wants to launch the ball downfield swiftly to get him back in the attack. Keith Wright helped it on for McAllister. He's going to the turn with the ball at his feet. Brought down there by Gaunt. The free kick to Hibbs. A late opportunity from a set piece. Now two minutes remaining in the match. Rangers leading by two goals to one. Kevin McAllister contemplating a direct shot at goal, I think. No, flighting it in. Hunter coming in for that. Hafley won it inside his own box. That's oh, great play by McCall and a very bad tackle by Michael O'Neill. He offers the apology, but it won't prevent him being shown a yellow card for that. It's great control by McCall. No. It's a real clumsy challenge. It's, uh, I'm not sure there was any harmful intent there, but he can have no complaints about having his name taken. Michael O'Neill becomes the second player to be booked after Keith Wright for ungentlemanly conduct in the first half when he died in the penalty box. <laughs> Hayley's header. There's Durant. Stephen beaten to the ball there by Mitchell, who appeared to be fouled. Yes, he was impeded by Stephen. The free kick's been given. The Rangers now content to try to see out time. The short free kick. The Rangers pulling everyone back to face the ball, except McCoy and Hayley as Hibbs try to find gaps again. We're into the final minute of the match as Evans turns. Brought down by Robertson. The free kick to Hibbs. He's very good at that.